I'm Not Board Gamers and welcome back to Not Board Gaming. I'm your host, I'm Mark. Now in today's video, we're going to be conducting an unboxing. And what game are we going to be unboxing? Well, about a year ago, the very, very nice Randall from Eagle Griffin Games sent me my first Vita Lacerda game. And that game was On Mars, which you can see over there. Instantly, the moment I got it, I fell in love with the components, with just the quality and the depth of gameplay that's 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 there. And I, you know, I kind of felt I'd, I'd not experienced Vital Lacerda before this game, and then I suddenly wanted everything Vital Lacerda. And as you can see from my collection there, uh, since uh, being sent on Mars, I've then bought Vinyos the Deluxe Edition. I got Escape Plan. I bought the Gallerist as well. In fact, the only one I haven't got so far is Lisboa from Eagle Griffin Games. Uh, I've also got CO2 somewhere, but let's just talk about Eagle Griffin. Um, the only one I haven't got is Lisboa because you cannot get it anywhere in the UK. So if anybody has any tips or tricks on how I can get Lisboa, then please do let me know. Anyway, that should give you enough of a hint of what today's game is. It came out on Kickstarter uh, about uh, just less than a year ago and then started being shipped to backers just before Christmas. Uh, we're now in what the kind of middle of February here. Uh, it was delayed arriving in the UK because of the new Brexit restrictions, but we knew it was going to get here and today it's arrived and it's been a long day working today. All well, this has been sat sealed up in my living room and as you can see it is Kanban EV by Vital Lacerda with the artwork by Ian O'Toole and a solo mode by David Turchi and look at this this just looks absolutely fantastic I can't wait to break the seal on this and have a look at the quality of the components as well and look I've even got my number 158 of a thousand uh, kind of plaque there as well which is just absolutely fantastic it makes it feel really really special so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the seal on it and show you what you get inside the box from one of my favourite designers with artwork by one of my favourite artwork people with a solo mode published by one of my favourite solo mode designers and with rule books by one of my favourite rule book writers Mr Paul Grogan as well at the same time I'm so glad I backed this from what I can see the um, uh, the reviews are really really good for it this update of Kanban now into Kanban EV so without much further ado let's break into Kanban EV by Vital Lacerda from Eagle Griffin Games. Oh, just look at this box. Purely in terms of when I receive a game and when I bought a game, a back to game, um, then <sighs> Eagle Griffin Games really do kind of stack up there as potentially my favourite arrivals ever. I love the size of the box, and if you're looking hand spans, it's kind of too wide by one and a half across. I love the fact that the artwork is only always good. It's this great size, they look great on the shelves, and importantly, They've always got this little nub in here, which allows you to take the lid off the box. So, um, as I showed you earlier, there's the certificate that comes with it. I'm back at number, or I have number 158. And here we can see Kanban EV artwork by Ian O'Toole, Vital Lacerda. And you can see a car being assembled there, Eagle Griffin Games down at the bottom. Always a big box from uh, from Eagle Griffin on these games. As you can see, it's still sealed. Up at the top, suggested layout for four players there. Kanban is a name for a scheduling system that supports an efficient assembly line, just-in-time production, and smooth workflow process. Electric vehicles, EVs, are the future of the automobile industry. They are more efficient, easier to maintain, cleaner, and are cheaper to run than their traditional combustion engine counterparts. I know, I've got a hybrid. Uh, they are computerized machines that use AI to improve safety, and in the near future will provide autonomous driving. Fantastic, if only. You take on the role of rookie employees trying to manage suppliers and supplies, improve and innovate automobile parts, and get your hands greasy on the assembly line in order to boost production and impress Sandra, the factory manager. If you played any of Vitals games before uh, solo, then you probably come across Sandra at some point. She's certainly an escape plan, and she's not to be trifled with. And down here we've got the game components. So we've got game board, rule book, solo rules, reference book, all this stuff down here. 20 award tiles, one Sandra reference tile. Then for the solo game, which is the important bit for me, 11 plan cards, 18 selection cards, 9 difficulty cards, 2 wooden colleagues meeples, 10 wooden colleagues discs, 2 wooden colleagues certification markers, and 1 solo player aid. One of four players, 14 and up, 60 to 150 minutes. And we go, designed by Vital Lacerda, artwork by Ian O'Toole, uh, rule book and illustrations, Vital Lacerda, English rules writing, Paul Grogan, Vital Lacerda. Just absolutely fantastic. And there we go. There we go. Solo game, David Turchi, and official rules video. 
If you want to learn how to play it, don't watch me. Go and watch Paul Grogan's Gaming Rules. Paul does fantastic rules introductions videos and certainly just there's nobody better out there at doing the rules introductions videos and how to play videos and certainly for Vital Lacerda games he's always Vital's go-to guy. So there we go and as you can maybe just make out on that sticker there it's a Kanban EV includes upgrade pack and metal car set as well that's right I went for the metal car so without much further ado let's get this knife let's cut a little bit of the cellophane off oh, very exciting very 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 exciting Oops, just knocked the camera there. I do apologise. Let's get the cellophane off and have a look at what we get inside the box of Kanban EV. Oh, yes. So, as I mentioned, it's always got these little <laughs> these little things on the side of the box from Eagle Griffin, which, why all game manufacturers don't do it, I have no idea. And look at this. We are hit with, first of all, this beautiful looking rule book. Okay, we've got this little kind of um, uh, sheet there, but a beautiful, efficient looking rule book. Look at this and a separate solo rules and reference book. So, I'm very much a rule book reader. I love digesting rule books. And here we go. It tells you about changes in this edition because, of course, Kanban was uh, previously released just as Kanban. This is the EV. Uh, version and the rules are some kind of 20 pages long and typical uh, Vita Lacerda rule books is that they are generally very 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 way, well laid out they walk you through every step of the way with really good kind of pictorials and, 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 and pictograms showing you what you need to do when you need to do it company cross training policy disallows employees from working in the same department for cute for two consecutive work days well okay fine and look at this I'm telling you everything about the game structure about how it plays training and certification certification benefits that's my evening's entertainment sorted out right there. Importantly for me, of course, is the solo rules and reference book as well. So that we touch here, say, designed the solo mode uh, on the game designed by, um, uh, by Vital uh, with additional development and testing by Gary Penning. Uh, Jonathan Bobel, uh, John Albertson, who I would expect on all David Turchy games, and Javi Bordes. So, yes. And there we go. It tells you how the solo rules differ there with a the different setup. The gameplay, what each department does, final end of game, final scoring, ranks, increasing the difficulty, something I don't have to worry about with Vita Lacerda games. As much as I love Vita Lacerda games, I'm terrible at them. Uh, and here we go, a speed charger expansion as well, so there's an additional solo expansion there as well, which is just great. And performance goals, so good to look at. So here we have, what's this? Vital Lacerda Kanban Upgrade Pack. We've got the Speed Charger Expansion and the Special Tile Garage. And that must be what those packs are there. There we go, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> we've got the Metal Cars. I'll come to those shortly. That was a special edition for me. And, of course, uh, here we go. These, are, these must be the Speed Charger Expansion here. Uh, we've got all the additional boards. And look, the one thing that you notice on all Vital Lacerda games is... Just the thickness of the board quality. It is exceptional. You're not going to get boards that kind of feel flimsy. And we have how many punch boards here? Two punch boards. That's okay. Nice thick tokens. Look at this artwork that Inno Tools done on there. Absolutely stunning. Green, blue, blue, red. Don't know what it all means and I'm so eager to learn about it. And here we go. Some more down here as well. So two punch boards there, which is not a lot. Then we have an additional punch board here, which got like some form of race track, must be a test track or something on there. There are people that will have played Kanban or maybe even Kanban EV who are screaming at me now telling me exactly what this is, but I don't have a clue. <laughs> I kind of booked it without, uh, booked it. I, I, I backed it without knowing too much about it and other than it's Vital Lacerda and David Turchi was doing the solo mode and it's Eagle Griffin games. Kaching, insta back. Paul McGrogan on top of there, definite insta -bike. That's it. That's all you need to know. There's the board. We'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, here we've got the player boards. Now, dual layered player boards. <laughs> Just so good, like uh, with uh, with on Mars and and uh, an escape plan. Uh, the dual lord, uh, dual layered player boards are just fantastic. And look at that. I'd like to think that Vito's just signed it, especially for me. That's what he's done there. Not for you guys, but just for me. And there's one, two, three. What else? There's the fourth one. 
There we go, fantastic. And then look at this. So the game trays are included, and if you've seen my on Mars uh, unboxing video, you know I was blown away with that. And it is the same with a lot of these Beetle Asserta games, is you just get these wonderful kind of looking game trays that that just work, that just look fantastic. A little bit stiff there. Ah, there we go. Let me, oh, it's just, there we go. Beautiful red colour on there. <laughs> And everything just fits away ever so nicely. Now, I don't think it's any surprise to say that that is obviously where I think the cars will go. And we'll look at the metal cars shortly. Here we have some wooden tokens. Beautiful. More space for tokens under there. Then in each of these kind of game trays here, there's more space below them. We've got black ones there, which got some kind of computer chip, microchip on there. Green ones, which I don't know. It's green cars. So they're the wooden cars. Uh, some kind of electronic wooden people in there. Uh, that is no idea. Some car chassis body. Um, yeah, arrows and the kind of carriage there. Look at all these. I'm going to have fun sorting these out later because the great thing about these games is just how tactile the entire Vital the server experience is. It's not just about having these really well-designed Euros. Uh, it's it's about the tactility of them as well. Look at these books, here we go. And these little wooden books, uh, and there we go, you've got plus one on there. They feel so good, they're nice and chunky. Now people will say that, yeah, they're expensive, and there's a reason they're expensive, is because you're getting all these high quality components. These games deserve high quality components. Oh, look at that, look at that. Little metal race car. That looks phenomenal. Feels nice and weighty. Better than anything you get inside uh, Monopoly, that's for sure. We'll come back to those in a bit. We have some black cars down there, some blue cars, grey cars. <clears throat> oh, we have, oh, pink and black. So I'm wondering if that's Sandra there. Uh, pink, black and white. Uh, I've got a feeling that could be Sandra down there who's going to come and make my solo life very difficult. Look at this. Look at this, let me show you this. Uh, it's a little calendar. A little wooden calendar with Friday marked off on there. So important things happen on Fridays, obviously. But we all get to go home. Um, yeah, and more stuff there. And then what do we have here? We have some cards. So nice thick card stock on there. We also have what I think are going to be Sandra's cards there. So that's great. And then what's this? This is some additional cards as well. Fantastic. Let's just have a look in these. Uh, yes. Yeah, so these are all cards that will do something in the game. That's really deep and insightful of me there, isn't it? These cards will do something in the game. Join, join me next week when I will say that these pieces will also do something in the game. Fantastic, that looks great. So what we'll do is we shall now look at the player board before we look at the metal cars. So just bear with me. So I'll just move all this. <clears throat> so, player board is, it's, it's gonna be meaty, it's gonna be fairly big. And here we can see, starting to pull it out. First thing you notice on the back, and this is the back of the player board. Look at that. Again, Beetle the Serda signature and the beautiful Ian O'Toole artwork on there. So let's turn this over now. Oh man, do not rip this board. It's a beautiful looking board. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to do this, reaching over. And as you can see, the player board fits. <laughs> on my 36 inch mat just there so uh, one two three however many hand spans five hand spans along and look at that that looks absolutely fantastic looks really really nice looks interesting don't know what anything does on there but it looks really really interesting so we've seen the base game we've seen the game trays we've seen the player boards we've seen the expansion packs that you get with it i also went for the metal cars as well so you saw the little wooden cars in there i went for the metal vehicle add-on pack yes i splurge but i don't care eight metal concept cars eight metal sports cars eight metal city cars eight metal trucks and eight metal suvs and this thing is weighty 
<laughs> it really, really is. Oh man, these things look great. So let's pull some of the metal cars out that you can see. So here we go. We can see this looks like one of the metal concept cars, maybe. Look at that. There we go. And you can feel, yes, they've got a weight on them. We've got the blue ones here. This is a completely unnecessary addition by me, and I don't care, quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> these are what I wanted. Uh, it's all about blinging up the game sometimes, and a Vital Deserta game deserves to be blinged out. Look at these. They feel great. Is this, this is the kind of uh, SUV type thing. Is it going to focus? Yeah. Wow. Looks fantastic. And the red ones as well. So yeah, this cost me uh, an additional undisclosed sum. Uh, I can't remember what, what the addition was on there, but I did think, knowing that I missed out on stuff before, by not getting them at the Kickstarter, I thought, you know what? Um, it's going to be my one opportunity to get this, and that's what I'm going to do. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything that you get in <laughs> the wonderful looking Kanban EV by Vidal Lacerda, published by Eagle Griffin Games, the artwork by Ian O'Toole, Solomon by David Turchi, and the rules by Paul Grogan. I cannot wait for my brain to hurt. Whilst I play this. Tra -la 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 -la. I'm happy because I got Kanban EV by <laughs> Eagle Griffin Games designed by Vital Lacerda. I am so looking to get into grips with the rules, playing it wrong for the first two or three times, but eventually improving each and every game until I can get this down because you know I do like a good meaty euro and this is exactly that kind of game. So I'm so looking forward to breaking into Kanban EV. I expect a review at some point in the next kind of four or five weeks, something like that. Obviously, I've got to get to grips with playing the game first, but I'm looking forward to breaking into that. So thank you very much for joining me on this unboxing journey through Kanban EV by Vital Lacerda, published by Eagle Griffin Games. My name's Mark. This is Not Board Gaming. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Not Board Gaming, always B-O-R-E-D. Click the link to follow the channel. Check out our other videos. And one final thought, if you can't find anybody else to play with, there's nothing wrong with playing with yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>